We have our last men's individual event on the track right now. It's the men's 3,000 meters. They got get ready for 15 laps here at the Birmingham Crossplex. And Dwight Stone's going to take you through all of them. Dwight. All right, John. Same situation. 16 of the best collegians in the country in this 3,000. Alistair Craig with the collegiate record. Lowry LaLang with the meet record. And Grant Fisher, who is in this final with the best time in the country this year. He anchored his... Stanford Cardinal to a second place position in the distance medley relay last night. Fourth in this race last year. And you can see there he won this distance race at the Milrose Games, but he's going to get all he can handle from this gentleman who won the 5,000 last night, Morgan McDonald, the senior from Wisconsin and Australia. Well, everybody asked for it, especially distance fans. They asked for another rematch, and they absolutely got it. This is Fisher versus McDonald, part, part three. Morgan McDonald, your cross-country champion. Grant Fisher takes him down at the Milrose Games. But they were running in a crowd, and they were behind a lot of people for the, for the better part of that race. But Grant Fisher took control and ended up beating Morgan McDonald that day. Eleven runners on the inside alley, five on the outside. They will stay there through the first two turns and then break for the pole. Fifteen laps of this 200-meter crossplex oval. We've got a chance to see Morgan McDonald there running on the outside group of five. Well, a number of these athletes doubling back from the 5,000 meters. Kyle Mao, Connor Mance, Robert Brandt, Clayton Young, he led a majority, and he comes up to the lead, but he led a lot of those laps in the 5,000 meters as well. Grant Fisher didn't run that 5K, but he did run on the DMR. Morgan McDonald, he didn't run in that DMR, so this is only his second race of these championships, but Grant Fisher, after running 354 in the mile, said he was extremely tired. Gave it everything he had, but 354 effort in that DMR just took his breath away. So Clayton Young establishing a very good early pace, and since this race is underway, let's step aside for a moment. We'll take a look at some more field event action. There's Stanford junior Grant Fisher. He had some regrets about finishing fourth in this event last year, but has a plan for a di different outcome this year. Last year I came away from this meet uh, with, with some regrets, um, and I learned a lot of things from it. Uh, racing indoors in college on a 200-meter bank track is very, very different than running outdoors. Um, and you have to put yourself in a good position because it's so hard to pass people um, just because the turns come up so quickly and um, you don't want to be running extra distance. So um, I was a little tentative last year and, and I think that came to, to haunt me with the last 150 of each race and um, I'm hoping to, to be a little more assertive and, and put myself in it because that's where I'm ultimately most comfortable and uh, that's where I know it'll give me the best shot. So Fisher is running about seventh place now as he's moving up. Well, Dwight, I was in the armory up in the Heights in New York City during that during those Milrose games, and it was a really interesting and a little bit sad in that 3,000 meters. Kamoy Campbell, he's the distance record holder in all the distances for Jamaica. He went down in the first five laps. A number of other people took the lead, and Grant Fisher was able to take control with about four laps to go, three laps to go, but he was ahead of Morgan McDonald 
and there were some other people in between them. So when Grant Fisher actually went into the lead and made his break, Morgan McDonald was behind a other couple people, so he wasn't able to respond immediately. So it's a really different kind of situation that I'm gonna, than we're going to see here, certainly tonight. Connor Mance of BYU leading his teammate Clayton Young up front. That's been the, pretty much the situation since the second lap. Morgan McDonald right there in third. And they've slowed it down a little bit. They had a couple of a 63, a 64, and now a 65-4. Well, earlier today, I got a chance to talk to Dr. James Lee, who's the distance distance coach, associate head coach at the University of Arizona. And, you know, I asked him about some of his own runners, but I took the opportunity to ask him about some of the other races here. And he said a lot of times, and, and Jill was correct in, in her analyst in the women's 3000, these athletes are just responding to some of the other athletes. They don't always have a plan. And unless, unless, as we see somebody stumble a little bit, a couple guys, and always when one guy goes down, usually somebody else goes down right behind them. But there's not always a plan coming in here. Championship racing is just running for the win. If you're trying to get qualified, if you're trying to, if you're trying to move on in rounds, then the strategy certainly changes a little bit. Yeah, it really wasn't like it was a tightly bunch pack with a big slowdown of some kind, but there was some movement, and they did want to try and get a situation and simply just caught his spike and then took out another runner. It's just one of those things that happens in indoors, running indoors a little bit like roller derby. And unfortunately, if somebody goes down in front of you and there's just no place for you to go, you get taken out as well. It was Amon Kemboy of Campbell and Kenya, of course, who stumbled. We've seen that happen a couple of times. And it was Alex Rogers of Texas who also suffered from that little collision. Well, Mont Kemboy, he was third at the Milrose Games behind Grant Fisher and Morgan McDonald. But I noticed Kemboy's head. He looked to his left before that stumble, and he wasn't really looking at the guy in front of him. And he hit his spike. He hit the guy in front of him. And I always talk about it. it's not always the guy to your right. It's not always the guy to your left or the person behind you. A lot of times you run into the back of other people's feet. That creates an incomplete stride, and that's where you stub your stub your spike and go down. With less than five laps remaining, and Robert Grant, the junior from UCLA, has now taken the lead. Connor Mance remains in second, and Morgan McDonald staying in third. Runners now starting to stake out their positions. Because we're going to come up with four laps remaining, just a half mile remaining in this 3,000 meters. Grant Fisher now coming on the outside and getting up into the mix. See Joe Klecker there as well, who finished third in the 5,000 last night. Well, this is a real cat and mouse game right now. Everybody, those, top, those leaders are waiting for somebody to make a move. Nobody wants to make the first move. Because when these athletes decide to sprint, they're gonna they're gonna switch they're gonna switch gears. They're certainly gonna switch gears here in the next couple of laps, but they're gonna save their all-out sprint for the last hundred meters. Three laps remaining in this men's 3,000 meters, and Morgan McDonald finally goes into the lead. He's been stalking the leaders back in third and fourth place, and the guy who covers the move immediately is Grant Fisher of Stanford and Joe Klecker of Colorado. A lot of movement going on on that. Back stretch as they the runners get in position to wind up their sprints. Clayton Young of BYU hanging in there. Now just 400 meters remaining, and Morgan Fairchild continuing to lead. Joe Klecker going wide now for Colorado. Looks like he wants to take the lead on this back stretch, but Fair. Morgan McDonald does not want to give it up. Saw that same situation happening last night in the 5,000. Grant Fisher right there trying to get in position. He's against the rail. And there you can see the gear shift right there with Morgan McDonald. Bell lap in the men's 3,000. And it is Morgan McDonald doing much what he did in the 5,000. Changing gears with about 300 meters to go, but now he's got Grant Fisher right there behind him who finished fourth last year. Joe Klecker losing contact. Does Morgan McDonald have enough? Coming back from that 5,000 last night, Fisher running a 354, 1600 meter final lap for the DMR. Look at McDonald just turn it over. 
And he's a double winner, 5,000, 3,000. And Fisher upgrades from fourth last year to second in 2019. Well, this guy's kick is absolutely devastating. You saw him change gears with four laps to go, and then you saw him change gears with 400 meters for 400 meters, but he just can wait and wait and wait. This guy doesn't have four or five gears. He has six or seven, but when you see his top gear, he's only going to be able to hold it for about 100 meters. Grant Fisher did a wonderful job covering all the moves. I thought Grant Fisher might get up on him with 200 meters to go, but literally it was the first guy to push it, makes the other guy chase, and it just comes down to regular foot speed. They hold the distance. Well, Morgan McDonald pulled away a tiny bit, but you know, if these guys were to line up in 100 meters, you know, maybe they would split it five five wins apiece. You know, they I just don't think they're that fast, but it's just that last sprint and the guy who was ahead had the advantage. So McDonald scores 20 points for Wisconsin with a 5,000, 3,000 double. Grant Fisher unable to pull it off, but goes from fourth to second. Joe Klecker hangs on for third, and Mark McDonald is downstairs again with John Anderson. Yep, Grant, I have 8,000 meters of goodness right here in Morgan McDonald. Uh, what, is the, what was the biggest challenge in this race? Uh, definitely just the head-to-head -head matchup with Grant Fisher. Um, he's my greatest competitor in college, and every time we race, it's going to be a dogfight. And it was like that today. I knew that was going to be like that, and it's really kind of just a tactical match between each other, I think. And so I knew that was going to be my biggest challenge. But you don't let him win. I try not to. <laughs> He beat me last time in Milrose, so uh, I had that coming into this race, you know, trying to get one back up on him. But, uh, yeah, I uh, was lucky enough to get it done today. And where was the turning point in the race for you, you think? Um, I think from the gun. I felt pretty good after they went out quick and I got a good spot. Uh, when I went into the lead with about 600 to go, I felt pretty comfortable there. And uh, I knew Grant was right on my shoulder, so I was worried. Uh, but I thought that if I kept ramping up the pace, I'd be able to hold him off. Listen, if you want, your last 60 was great. I got another grant if you want to, if you want to take on the Holloway, or we can just let you go. Uh, yeah, I'm good, thanks. I'm done for a couple of weeks, yeah. We'll pass. 3K, 5K champ from Wisconsin, Morgan McDonald.